Please have a seat, everybody. Thank you very much. We're here because we got too, too much monologue for one monologue. So we're doing two monologues tonight. And uh, here, here's, here's what's going on is that um, Donald Trump weighs in on, on the law yeah. and yeah. On, on how he sees justice a lot. Mm -hmm. But the case he should actually be paying attention to is the one for Trump associate and grandma after she got into club drugs, Roger Stone. <laughs> Here's a, a Stone, uh, when was this, like a week ago, almost two weeks ago, he was put under a limited gag order by a judge to prevent him from poisoning the jury pool in his upcoming trial, because he likes to shoot off at the mouth a lot and accuse people of malfeasance yeah. in the Justice Department, so you can't do that. Mm. But he still violated it by posting this photo of the judge presiding over his case with crosshairs next to her head on Instagram. That's a bad idea. If you're the bad idea, if you want to threaten a judge, do it somewhere no one will ever see it, like LinkedIn. <laughs> now, so he did this, you know, it hit the fan. So Monday he issued a written apology, and in court today, Stone apologized again, laid it on really thick, telling the judge, I recognize I let the court down, I let you down, I let myself down, I let my family down. By family, of course, Stone is referring to his entourage of trained penguin assassins. <laughs> The judge asked Stone, <laughs> the judge asked Stone to explain the crosshairs next to her head, and he said, I did not recognize the image at first, and later thought it was a Celtic symbol. Oh, yes. Yes, a really? clear Celtic symbol. Wow. It goes back to the Roman times when the Celts in Northern Europe used to threaten judges on Instagram. <laughs> not only that, Stone said he didn't even know who posted the image, blaming it on volunteers who worked for him. When asked which one of them might have done it, Stone struggled to recall the names of his five or six volunteers who have access to his phone, saying, it's a revolving situation. That really sounds like a guy in a hotel bar trying to soft pitch wife swapping. <laughs> we have a revolving situation. <laughs> Still, I can't imagine that instilled a lot of confidence. Your Honor, you can trust me. I'm a man who gives my phone to a rotating series of strangers whose names I don't recall. I always forget who's in charge of threatening federal judges. Is it the glasses guy or the brown-haired guy? I can't remember. I also find it strange that Roger Stone has volunteers. Five or six yeah. volunteers. <laughs> Does that mean someone else's community service was working for Roger Stone? <laughs> they must have done something awful. <laughs> Naturally, the judge was not impressed, saying, I have serious doubts about whether you've learned any lesson at all. You appear to need clear boundaries. Yes, possibly a bunch of vertical steel boundaries. <laughs> and... <laughs> Warden threw a party. Yeah. <laughs> but that's for later. For now, she gave Stone a full gag order, no statements about the case on TV, radio, print reporters, or Internet. No posts on social media. So if you want to communicate with Roger Stone, do it the old-fashioned way and contact him through his Russian hackers. <laughs> we'll be right back.